Hello Virgo, welcome to a bonus love reading for March 2021. Uh, this is going to be a 411 bonus love reading where we're going to dive, dive deep into your connection. How are they feeling or thinking about you and what's next? Alright, so let's get into this for Virgo, spirits, angels, spirits, please, messages for Virgo regarding love. As always Virgo, this is a general love reading. It will not resonate for everyone. Spirit, angels. Messages for Virgo, please. Regarding love. Messages for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Regarding love. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. For me as a reader, this is kind of like the Six of Pentacles reverse. There's an uneven uh, exchange. Uh, someone could be more into the other person, uh, willing to put in more of an effort. Um, maybe there's more more uh, commitment behind emotion, right? Somebody could be more em emotionally involved and the other person could be more physically involved. So there's this kind of an, an exchange here. Bottom of the deck, I have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Interesting. So this is re regarding someone from the past. I feel like with recon reconciliation, I can't even talk today. With reconciliation, I'm getting, I'm getting, um, like I keep hearing the word closure and thinking of the world, you know, from the tarot, the major arcana of the world, not like the globe. <laughs> so I'm thinking of like coming back around. So let's see, Spirit, tell me more for Virgo. What's going on in this connection? In love, Spirit. Okay, that feels good. I'm actually going to cut the deck and then choose the cards. Okay, we got the Ace of Swords reverse, Four of Cups reverse, oh, the Empress reverse, yikes. So this is in like the best energy here. Someone has had a change of heart with the Four of Cups reverse. They've changed their mind about something um, or are having renewed interest in something, opening their their eyes to new opportunities or opening themselves to uh, new opportunities. Ace of Swords reverse. This is the lack of clarity. Why is the Ace of Swords here reverse? It could be deception, verbal conflict. The Sun. Why is the Ace of Swords reverse? Yeah, this is about clarity. The Hangman reverse. Ace of Swords reverse. Wow, the Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, and I have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is about um, clarity regarding emotions, I feel, opening up a message, an emotional message, maybe a message where someone is um, saying something like you make me happy or I know now what I am feeling is true or the truth of how I feel for you or something like that there's I, I just keep getting this message of clarity so it's like whatever was not true or not clear is now clear and it's through some sort of communication the hangman reverse is interesting because when I put that card down I thought of someone taking action um, which that's not really what the hangman reverse means. Usually it means not being able to see things from a different point of view, not being uh, willing to sacrifice. But I, in some instances, it can mean someone not no longer being stuck or hanging still. So that's why I think I got that message. So this is someone that's coming to express themselves to you in some way, maybe even apologize to you. Or this could be you to another person. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? 
the Four of Cups reverse, Eight of Wands reverse, Two of Cups reverse. So this is about a partnership, a disconnect in a partnership, possibly a separation here. Wow, and then the Ace of Wands. So this is somebody that's having a change of heart about this, I feel. This is about a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Eight of Swords reversed at the bottom. Someone kind of overcoming their fear, seeing a way out of their situation, no longer feeling stuck. The Eight of Swords reversed. So this is somebody that's, their fear is no longer holding them back from a new beginning here. I feel like this is what they've changed their mind about. Now either, I feel like this was a disconnect where there wasn't any action or communication happening here. Why is the Empress reverse? Why is the Empress reverse? So this is somebody that invested in the wrong thing. Possibly their seeds never bore fruit. Something didn't manifest or grow here. Yeah, there's the world. The world reverse. And look. The world reverse, it's like a delay in a new beginning or a lack of closure. Resisting the ending of a cycle or resisting a new cycle. Tell me more about this Empress reverse. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. What's this? Four of Swords. Interesting. I'm getting a few messages. One message I'm getting is that some this is a connection, possibly a marriage or a long-term commitment that didn't grow, didn't manifest in the way that someone hoped. But there's resistance there with the world reverse. I'm also getting the message that... Um, this is as a connection that maybe didn't get any closure due to a lack of movement or communication. Tell me about the world reverse, Spirit. Why is the world reverse? Why is the world reverse? Yeah, this is a return. So this is someone, okay. Remember what I said about reconciliation, the past coming back and thinking of the world? Here it is. Tell me more about the world reverse. It's like coming back around here. Yeah, there's. this is someone that wants to come back to something that they don't want to end or change. Um, I have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like this is going to be some sort of communication that comes in here. After maybe no communication or no action, it's going to be fast because somebody doesn't want this cycle to close. And I don't know what this higher font is doing here. Why is the higher font here? Why is the higher font here? The three of wands. Okay. Waiting. Why is the higher font here? Spirit, tell me more, please. Three of cups reverse. Yes. So this could be something in the way. Um, okay. For some of you, this could be um, an, another commitment that's kind of like interfering. For others of you, this could be that someone is has been waiting because they always like to do the right thing or are very traditional, very um, by the book. And I feel like this has been, has caused delays. This has kept you waiting or this person waiting. But I feel like, I don't know, this person doesn't play games. Whoever this is that you're dealing with, Virgo, um, this person it doesn't play games. I feel like there's um, there's a new beginning that someone wants with the past. This is what I'm getting that I see here. So let's see, what is this person thinking or feeling about you, Virgo? Spirit, what is this person thinking or feeling about Virgo? They thinking or feeling about Virgo. I'm using my secret moon oracle deck. What are they thinking or feeling? I'm ready to commit. Oh, that could be why the higher font is here. You're always on my mind. Okay, that's all that I want to take. Okay. 
I'm ready to commit and you're always on my mind. Okay, and what, what are their energies, Spirit? Use my stellar energy oracle deck here. What is this person's energy at this time? The person that Virgo is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Victory lap. So they're focused on success recognition. Victory lap. Difficult decision. Okay, so this person's focused on um, a path that leads to success. See what difficult decision. There's two paths leading in two different um, two different uh, locations, journeys. Um, this person's thinking about you, and when I saw this, I'm ready to commit card. I don't know. I feel like this is someone that's committing themselves to a decision. Let's see. Let's get some more information about this person. Tell me more about this person. What are they feeling or thinking when it comes to Virgo or this up connection spirit? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person that Virgo is dealing with. What can you tell me about them, Spirit? Tell me more about this person. Got another ace here. Ace of Cups. The Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy. So we got the Ace of Cups here. Again, I feel like this is someone that's very serious. Um serious intentions here um genuine emotion genuine feelings but with the chariot reverse and the page of swords reverse um i don't think there's any action movement or communication why is the page of swords reverse i don't think you've talked to this person in a while yeah why is the page of swords reverse Ten of Pentacles. Why is a chariot reverse? The High Priestess reverse. I feel like someone needs to speak up in order to, to make some sort of move here. Yeah, there's a choice that needs to be... Someone needs to make the decision to act here. Queen of Wands at the bottom. The love isn't the problem. The emotions isn't the problem. Yeah, communication is the problem. We got the page of wands here. So yes, thank you for that confirmation. So I feel like this is whoever this is, is somebody that you haven't talked to in a while, Virgo. Um, and a decision needs to be made about opening up here with the high priestess reverse. Someone I feel it's not just going to be opening up it's also going to be a, a, a change in direction with the chariot reverse um because i keep getting these cards about like no movement what else did i have here the knight of swords came out the knight of cups death reverse i i, I get like um like a back and forth and then i have the two of pentacles so that makes sense to me wheel of fortune reverse as another card where it's like not the right time or it things are difficult this ten of pentacles i feel like there is a commitment in the way here it's almost like someone hasn't communicated because of a commitment okay so where is all of this headed what's next for this connection, please. What's next for this connection? What's next for Virgo and this other person? Two of Swords reverse. I feel like a decision will be made here. Yep. This is someone deciding to have 
open, honest communication here with the King of Swords. Yep. Yep. Page of Cups and the Hermit Reverse. I feel like this is someone coming in after doing a lot of thinking, after doing a lot of um, withdrawing. I feel like someone was thinking very deeply about what to say and how to say it. And here they are. They're coming in to talk to you. And with the Knight of Swords that came out earlier, it might be sudden communication. Um, I feel like this is this. I haven't gotten like a page of pentacles or anything with pentacles like in. You know, so basically, I feel like this is going to be communication first, but no actual promises behind it or anything like that. It's almost kind of like testing the waters or just, you know, asking for forgiveness or declaring themselves like, you know, and I feel like maybe this felt like it was unrequited, unrequited, unrequited at some point. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, maybe, you know, both of you have gone back and forth about, well, do they really care still? You know, I don't know how things ended between you and this other person, but I don't know. I feel like this is something that has been a long time coming. Spare any guidance or advice for my Virgos. Any guidance or advice, please. Divine timing. Can I get one more? For Virgo. This is my stellar guidance deck. All of my decks are linked down below. The signs are cautioning you. Bottom of the deck, have faith and then trust your intuition. So yeah, this, I feel like Spirit is talking to either one of you, both of you. Um, divine timing is at play. Now this signs are cautioning you. I feel like I'm not getting like caution here. I'm getting more like there have been certain things. Maybe you've had dreams or are seeing signs, synchronicities. Something maybe has been tugging at your heart or at this person's heart. Um, and I feel like this whole situation has required you to have faith just because of the way things have unfolded. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. Leave me a comment if this resonated for you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these bonus readings. All of the decks and information that you want to know is in, in the description box. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.